Today, we're gonna to talk about five reasons to move to the Chicago suburbs, specifically the Western suburbs. So, you've been thinking about leaving the city. You wanna know why would I go to the Western suburbs? Let's talk about that right now. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm Kimberly DePrima, a realtor with Option Realty Group working here in the Western Burbs. In another video, I'm gonna talk about specifically about why I moved to King County. So follow me for a couple weeks and we'll get into that one. But for right now, let's talk about the Chicago Western Suburbs. Why would you wanna live here? So let's start with number five, the convenience. The transportation, we have I-88 as your major thoroughfare. We've got train stations that stop at the Aurora train station, to Naperville train station. To go north or south, you have many options. Of course, there's 355 on the eastern part of the western <laughs> suburbs. And then the main ones would be um, Route 53, Route 59, Route 47, but there are other main thoroughfares. So you have to zigzag a little bit through some roads. So the fourth reason is about safety. I'll put a link down in the description below about the safest suburbs, but overall the Chicago Western Burbs are very safe. Don't get me wrong, there is some car burglaries here and there, but usually everybody in their little subdivision Facebook groups or in next door, which is a little more broad range, will say, hey, I've had a car burglary. My third reason would be for the schools. Our schools in the western suburbs are some of the top rated nationally and within the state. Not only by district, by some of the local schools as well. You've got Naperville 203, Naperville 204, Wheaton Warrenville 200, Caneland District, St. Charles School District, and that's just to name a few. Let's not forget about the Illinois Mathematics and Science Academy in Aurora. Plenty of options for private schools as well. Not that you necessarily need them. I'll include a link in the description below about some of those school rankings. Plenty of universities and higher education community colleges here in the western suburbs as well. Uh, there is North Central College, there's Illinois Benedictine. Go a little further west and you'll have Northern Illinois University. Of course, there's Wheaton College, Judson College, College of DuPage, Wabonzi College. I may have forgotten one or two, but those ones I'm thinking of right now. My third reason for moving to the Chicago Western suburbs would be jobs. Jobs are plentiful. There's IT jobs, engineering jobs, and manufacturing jobs, healthcare. I-88 corridor is previously was always known as the high-tech corridor. You've got Ecolabs, you've got Tell Labs, you've got Lucent, BP, NICOR. Can I go on and on? Yeah, I probably could, but there are plenty, plenty of jobs available in the western suburbs. My number one reason to move to the Chicago western suburbs would be space. Housing space, yard space, green space, parks, forest preserves, recreational opportunities. I think I'll do a separate YouTube video on that in a couple weeks. Watch for that one also. So let's talk about some of the housing opportunities. If you were in the city of Chicago and you paid about $300,000 for a one bedroom, one bath condo, it'd be about 1,200 square feet, right? But here in the western suburbs, and that depends about how far west you go, whether you're in Lyle, Naperville, Wheaton, Warrenville, Sugar Grove, and I'm just talking along the I-88 corridor at the moment, that same $300,000 can get you a three bedroom, maybe even a four bedroom home, two bath, maybe even two and a half or a three bath, two or a three car garage. And that would be between 1,500 to 2,300 square feet. And you will most likely have a yard if you're buying a single family home that is. If you were in the city of Chicago and you paid $500,000, what would that get you? That would be a two to three bedroom condo, two plus baths, 15 to 2,300 square feet. And don't forget, you gotta pay extra for a parking space and that might be $25,000 or so for one parking space. But here in the Western Burbs, that same $500,000 is going to get you a very nice, a substantially large home. A three car garage with a basement, 
two, no, more like three to four bathrooms, four to five bedrooms, and it's gonna have a yard. So between storage in a garage, storage in a basement, you're not gonna to have to have those little storage units besides housing that, with that number one reason is space, right? So what else can it get you? Forest preserves, yards, breathing room, green space, storage. And I didn't even say anything about the outdoor activities that go with those forest preserves and those walking trails and those biking trails, but there's plenty of social activities as well. I think I should do a separate video just on some of the activities around the Western Burbs. Good idea. Watch for that coming up in the future as well. But anyhow, the social activities, there's every restaurant that you can possibly imagine is accessible. Going back to that fifth opportunity, it's convenient. Transportation back and forth to the city is very convenient from the Western Burbs. Want to know where to start? Watch this video here. I look forward to seeing you next time. Go ahead and leave me any comments or any questions down below in the description. Have a great day and God bless.